Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Satish and I am your instructor for this MS700 Teams Administrator Examination course. In this lesson, we're going to learn about how to troubleshoot audio, video and client issues. Troubleshooting problems within Microsoft Teams may include a wide array of possible areas that you need to investigate, starting from the Teams client up to the coexistent mode settings configured by your Teams administrator. Most issues discovered with Microsoft Teams client can be tracked back to firewall or proxy connectivity. Verifying the necessary URLs, IP address, and ports are opened in your firewall or proxy will minimize unnecessary troubleshooting. Clearing the Microsoft Teams client cache is the recommended first step to troubleshoot if you discover any information mismatches, such as incorrect display name. There are three types of log files that are automatically produced by client that can be leveraged to assist troubleshoot Microsoft Teams, debug or diagnostic logs, media logs, and desktop or bootstrapper logs. Troubleshooting Teams and Sky for Business users is a very complex process that require you to understand the concepts of that require you to understand the concept of coexistence for Microsoft Teams, namely Teams coexistence mode and federation. Call analytics can help you troubleshoot call and connection problems with Microsoft Teams. Call analytics show detailed information about devices, networks, connectivity for the calls and meetings of each user in your Office 365 account. Where call analytics is designed to help admins and help desk agents troubleshoot the call quality problems with specific calls, the call quality dashboard or CQD is designed to help Teams admins and network engineers optimize a network. CQD shift focus from specific user and instead look to aggregate information for an entire Teams organization. Microsoft Call Quality Power BI Connector enable you to build your own custom reports. You can use customizable Power BI templates predefined by Microsoft as a starting point for your new report layout data models and queries. Now that we have completed all the modules, let's go and review the lab exercise. So we'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.